my name is Michelle Herrera Mulligan. I was the. Oh my goodness, the writer? Yeah. I read your scene, Pankos. Oh Did you really? <laughs> and then you wrote another book, I can't believe it. Oh my gosh. And then it was like black and pink, the cover. Yes, borderline personalities. <laughs> I can't believe. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks for coming today. You're amazing. Thank you. I'm working on a novel now, so I need all the support I can get. Basically, after I did Juicy Mangoes, I worked for a lot of different publications, and I ended up getting um, a job as the founding editor-in-chief of Cosmo for Latinas. It was a new brand. I did it for four years, and unfortunately, the last year, the magazine closed. But after that, I kind of had my own soul-searching moment where I really wanted to find a way to give back again and just have more time for me, so I'm working on more new projects. You know, working with Mike is something I've done on and off through the years, just coming in to teach a session with the kids or try to inspire them or teach them about travel writing and stuff. But I wanted to do something bigger to kind of call attention to what the bigger issue is because young girls of color do not see themselves as heroes in the media. I still feel like we have a long way to go in terms of being the stars of the show, especially Latinas. I mean, we're kind of invisible. I, mean, I love Jane the Virgin, but it's only one show. And even in movies too, like I'm sick of seeing Seeing the girl of color always be like the sassy girlfriend. And then, you know, I just started to think about, well, how are we going to keep this going, right? Like, there's me and a few other women really trying to put our work out there, but what about this next generation? And I was talking to Mike about it, and he's like, black and brown kids in these schools are only maybe at even 25 to 28 percent literacy. To me, writing is what saved my life, my whole childhood, and then it's how I make my living to this day. So to try to present this as a gift is my intention here. So that's why I've been working with Mike for the last few months to build this event and try to really find a bigger way to bring celebrities and artists into the picture. People like you too to help spread the word this exists and also try to infect that desire to write in younger girls like I had. But I got the encouragement and the support. When I was in eighth grade, I was failing out of school, even English, even though I'd always loved to write just because I felt so insecure and lost. It was a rough time and I did go to a racist school and I just felt very lost and confused, like a lot of 13 year old girls. And when I went to high school, they said, look, we're gonna start over now and we're not gonna look at that record. So you have to build your way back up. A lot of kids don't get that fresh start. That's kind of what this organization, I think, is trying to do.